I have had my dinner, and oh, apparently someone's skill trees have been uh, improved. Oh, uh, Ricky and uh, Shulk's affinity went up. Yeah, just Ricky and Shulk. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that means Shulk is pretty much friendly with everyone at this point. Um. Melly's gone again. As you can see, I took away the counter because she's not here anymore. At least not yet. Um, so, to ease my pain, I'm going to play as... Yeah, I'm going to play as Ricky and have Ryan and Charlotte in the party. Because uh, Shulk um, needs a timeout for saying I'm really feeling it so much. I'm not castrating you. I'm giving you gen I'm just giving you reminders that you shouldn't overwork yourself. Overworking is bad. It's not admirable and it's not cute. You're not Sakurai. <laughs> oh, I guess that quest is done because uh, this Nopon wanted cool potatoes. I had like four of them and I just needed two. Um, you know what, come to think of it, maybe we should take a walk about, just see, uh, oh yeah, Dady Buff. You know what? You're too slow. Do you know how long it's been since I asked you to bring it? Huh? You're not the usual guy. What's going on? Dady Buff knows why Hum Hum brought it. Hand it over. Come on, now. I've been waiting so long for this. You do a good job to bring it to me. No. Yay, yay, happy, Ricky, really happy. You should be. We did a good job. Huh? You already finished your job. Now leave me alone. Daddy Bar is very busy. Pushy. So we got panther bottoms for that. Um, actually, let's sell some of our old equipment, assuming no one can benefit from this. Uh, it'll give Ricky more physical defense. Um, same for Sharla, Shulk, and Dunban. Um, you know what? Yeah, Ricky could use it. Although, to bump up his ether defense, I'm gonna give him an ether defense up gem. Uh, I think I still have one on standby. I do. And let's sell all of our old shit. Oh yeah, Dunban uh, still had a had a sword. Um, oh mama, look at the look at how many slots the Alunus Defender has. Uh, okay, but hmm. Here's the thing. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, what should I give Dunban? Uh. Maybe we can craft some, yeah, maybe, maybe we can, uh, craft some extra strength up gems for him. Actually, no. Dunban isn't the type to really worry about stuff like that, I think. Because, um, he honestly seems like the type of guy who, um, rolls with the punches. And, uh, he, he doesn't really complain about, uh, anything, if at all. Um. I'm all I got it. Let's make this HP up jam. Alright, that's that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> strength up, strength up. Ah, 
I'm not gonna risk it. I have a lot of, I, wow, I have a lot of attack stability gems, so why don't we do that? I'm all I got it. Oh, some of them are in heat. Better than usual. Attack stability three. Debuff plus three. And aggro down two. Not exactly what I wanted, but they're they're nice enough, I suppose. Okay, um for Dunban, I will give him Yeah, let's give him a tax ability three. Um Uh, HP up to... Wait. Actually, no. Uh, Arts heal too. And... Arts heal too. Alright. So with Arts heal, he'll uh, get back uh, 36 um, HP. Uh, with every art that he uses. Um... Yeah, that looks nice. Now we can sell all of our old shit. Yay! Oh, Serpent Biter. Uh, okay, yeah, it's worse than what Ricky already has. <laughs> I have so many pants. Maybe I should. You know what? All pant- Yeah. All proceeds go to Slow King. Alright, let's skip to... The Prophecy Hut. Because that's where Melly is. Speaking of Melly, huh? <laughs> also, be also because Melly is back. Melia, what will you do now? I would like to repay you for your help. Permit me to act as your guide to Eric's seat. Of course. Three hundred points. I'd love you to. But I must warn you, Eric's sea is vast. Do you know where you wish to go? There's a dark tower at the head of the Bionis. I saw it in a vision. That's where I must go. A dark tower? <laughs> then we need not search at all. So you've heard of it? Heard of it? I have seen it. A dark tower at the head of the Bionis. Only one place fits that description. So you know it? I believe what you saw was Prison Island. Prison Island? Dixon said the same thing. Indeed. Melia, have you ever been there? I have not set foot upon the island. But I know of it. Prison Island is sealed. 
No one may enter without Imperial sanction. Imperial sanction, eh? <coughs> that means we'll be needing someone to grant us entry. I've heard that Aerith Sea is home to an empire ruled by the High Entier. They might be our best chance. You are knowledgeable for a Homs. Nelly smiled! Empires. Five points. <laughs> Anyone help here? Oh, a sanction is permission from someone important. An empire must be a place ruled by an emperor. An Charlotte looks so done. An emperor's permission to enter the island. This emperor, is he important? Long before we Homs built the colonies, a group of so-called royal types, or imperials, ruled our lands. Think of them like the heads of our colony, but with much greater influence and power. Now I get it. Dunban knows more than a textbook. Are you kidding? Oh my god. <laughs> That's first year Homs history, Ryan. <laughs> Might have slept through that class. So when do we get to meet the <laughs> <laughs> Look at Charlotte's face! <laughs> oh, forget it. First, we must travel to the Imperial capital. We'll see how we My god, he's a moron. I love him. Your guide. I will not break it. Melia, isn't that the The shortcut to Eric C. Yes. I love the way Melia says yes. Okay, five more points. <laughs> 660. I... I do love the way she breathes, though. What are you trying to say? Melia's single, calm down. And before someone hears my I love the way Melia breeds comment and, and then they go, that's creepy, Jordan. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, like, be up in her face and listen to her breathe. That's weird. Like, <laughs> I mean, what's the best way to put this? <laughs> um, knowing, knowing that she's alive makes me feel better. See, now it's not bad anymore. <laughs> this is why you let people finish, kids. Someone else learned an art. Uh, who, 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 who? Oh yeah, it's just Melia with Mind Blast. Which I am going to improve. Oh, not enough AP. Wait, where'd all her AP go? The Telethia ate it. That Mel took a while to surface. Oh, finally! Black panel! We have completed the Frontier Village. Um Collectopedia, and we got an agility up three! And the half bloom striker. Man, we're just getting all kinds of different uh new items now. Uh Yeah, it's, um, it's marginally better than what Dumbman already has. Hang on. Uh. Actually, I want to give Dunban. Where's the double attack two, Jen? No, uh, double attack two. Double attack four. There we go. Um, I also want to give him haste again. Here we go. 
and agility up three. There we go. I think Ricky could use more strength, so let's do that. Melia's still working on Power of the Moon. And when she's done, I'm going to go... I'm going to work on Honesty. What? I wonder who can link with who now. Okay, Melia can link up with Shulk. Oh, I definitely want Adventure Time on Melia. <laughs> um, yeah, and Sh and uh, and Shulk actually. There we go. Um. Melia to be able to uh, wear medium armor, so let me do this. Hey, should I give should I give Ricky more HP? <laughs> yes, I agree. Um Alright, I think we're ready now. Yay! Make it send you to Aaron's scene, a flash of light! Are you ready to go? Yes. Jumping bull! <laughs> All go to Eris. Jump oh! In that, you're not yeah, that people. looks. You have nothing to fear. 
Oh, there's the ball. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, there's no ball in this version, but no, there is. <laughs> Ryan's like, oh, I can't believe this shit. Well, I lived this long. <laughs> Future wife, Ryan. Future wife. Spoilers. <laughs> oh. What's all this? That was random. Anyway. Melly's back in the party, guys. Shh. Oh my god, Aerith C looks amazing here. Who would have thought Aerith C was right on top of Ricky's village? I think I know what my new desktop background is gonna be. Enough, you can reach their tree. <laughs> Perhaps you should try. Might do. Haven't decided yet. <laughs> Is something wrong? Aren't you curious? About why we're going to Prison Island, I mean. It is not common for Homs to visit this region. You may have good reason, but forgive me. I do not pry into other people's business. Melly's considerate. How, how dare you, you clown. <laughs> it's okay, Melia. Okay, that's ten points. Well, I... You're right. So then you'll listen to our story. Apparently, Ozzy yes. wants to listen to it, too. Tell me why you are here. Basically, it all started when... I had heard about the Mechon assault on the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. How lucky we are. Hey, what's that? There it's it is. That. You are looking at Prison Island. So that's Prison Island? Yes. And that is the Imperial Capital, Alchemoth. It's not just me, right? A floating city is a bit weird. Built with superior defenses in mind. Incredible. What technology makes this possible? I do not know. And I've never had the need to. You don't know? It doesn't freak you out? You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Words to live by. You will need Imperial Sanction to enter Prison Island. Okay. We will travel to the Dungeon's full of, uh, um, and how do you many to nuggets of wisdom. Dry? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. And to think I have five years to go before I reach 30. <laughs> now we're gonna fly. This place gives me the creeps. I guess we don't have a choice. Right. Ryan, I, I don't think you know what the phrase Still. gives me the creeps means. <laughs> what is it, Dunban? It's a sight to behold. Those look like anti mech on defense systems. <laughs> no, I mean. Why are you simping so hard for Melia? I'm not simping! <laughs> okay, now let me let me just take everything in. So yeah, for those of you not well versed in um Xenoblade lore, Eretz C is what Melia here calls home. And yeah, it's as beautiful as it looks. Um it doesn't look half bad it doesn't look half bad at night either. 
I would say Melia is more beautiful than it, but it's pretty close. Man, the new arrangement. the flutes. Ooh, vision! These should demonstrate our sincerity. But why would Vidian need... But why would Vidian want two pieces of marine marble? She must be under great hardship. Okay, that's 300 points lost. Ooh, Eric leggings already. Um. Okay. Doesn't look like anyone can really benefit from this. Yeah, I'm just taking everything in here. Let's, uh, let's take the transporter. Uh, how are we doing on, on Affinity, actually? Oh, now it works. <laughs> Melly learned a skill. She learned power of the moon. Uh, okay. Um. I want her to go on honesty now. And Ricky also learned learning, learning all the time. Uh. I think I'm gonna keep him on innocence for a while.
shall witness our power. You dare challenge me? I don't want anyone dying out there. Be afraid! Fire! Fire! yourself! I just realized Melia has yet to get a new weapon. Hey. Ouch. Okay, fine. <laughs> points lost. Mm. I hate this. Well, she's still higher than Shulk in terms of the counter, so it's fine. It's fine. Not sure. Do Bitey Body. How blam yeah, she will do. Okay, perfect. The next one will hurt even more. Charlotte! I think we can do it. I feel the ether. Building within me. Okay. And unleash! Yes! Melly got the kill. Slimy epithelium. What's an epithelium? Uh, would you be willing to look that up? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's, um... Let's see how the daytime looks. And Are you kidding me? Alright. Ew. So, what, did we skin the thing? What the fuck? Yeah, these guys don't play around. I love them. No, 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 no. Team Tarot in general is hardcore. I wasn't talking about just Melia, though. I was talking about the rest of the team. Because... Of that last enemy, well, okay, yeah, um, but I don't, I wouldn't say that she's the one who did the skinning. <laughs> mm, I'd say that's more Dunman's thing. Melly has better things to do than to dirty herself with the blood of her enemies, okay? <laughs> All right, since you said that. Just keep feeding that counter. Oh, hi. Who are these guys? 
are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? Thank you, Captain. These homes and this knock-on are my guests. <laughs> Look at Ricky's See face. Them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no Empress! idea. Oh, Ricky liked that better. Yeah, yeah. Are you? Oh, another vision. Melia. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. Melly, what do you mean? I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move it. <laughs> that smile. Trust me. My thanks. Melly, no, don't go. Lady Melia, he says. Melly. Mm. Sure. Just got her you bag and the then I me? lost her just the same. Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> I'm sorry, what? Guys. Uh, fun fact, uh, those shields that those guards were carrying, uh, apparently that was going to be a weapon for Shulk in development, but then it got scrapped. Understandably so. Ah! Wait a minute! I must report the Telethi's defeat to his majesty and request entry to Prism Island. I forgot about this. Melly's the main character, sons of bitches. Shulk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chair. Bye, Shulk! I must report news to the Telethi's subjugation to his majesty. Oh, I didn't know that. I should hurry to the audience chamber. Okay, Melly. She knows. She knows! <laughs> okay, Melly. Um, uh, I think that's... I think for her acknowledging me, that's, uh... Um... You know, let's, let's make it more fair. Uh... A hundred points. No. 30 points. Uh, what's 95 plus 30? No, wait, uh, don't... 125, okay, thank you. Let's go! You say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital, do not underestimate the lengths to which his majesty and hmm. the child... I see you may have got a bit of a glow up. How, pray tell, will you avoid... And new, uh, eyeliner. I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness. Enough of your drivel. We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. Alchemoth looks amazing. It looks even better here. Look at all those flower fields. The inside of the palace is even more colorful, too. There's, like, splashes of purple. Holy shit! 300 points! 300 points! I can't! I can't deal with this! Melly, I love you!
Okay, calm down, Jordan. <laughs> Look how cool the everything looks! Melly! I want to live here. I mean, yeah, that's the idea. STOP SPEAKING FOR ME! I'M A BIG BOY! See, even Mel- even Melia agrees. She's like, uh, please stop arguing. <laughs> I actually don't drink milk. <laughs> Um, I've always found it gross. Uh, I've, uh, whenever I drink milk, or rather drank milk, uh, I would always, um, uh, have chocolate milk, because it just tasted better to me. The only time I can tolerate milk is if it's either, um, cooked with a certain meal, or if, um, it, it's cereal. Other than that, I find, I find milk by itself gross. And apparently my family has a problem with uh, the way I pronounce milk. Like, seriously, it's just a pronunciation. Get over yourselves. <laughs> Milik, I agree. Melia Antiqua, first princess, has returned, your majesty. Raise your head. Your Majesty. Eyes. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. That's your Majesty. I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. We will grieve for them. But it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty. Concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, they have been arrested by Imperial security. Shulk and his companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? The Monado. Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? There is a legend, passed down through the generations, of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a chosen one. However, Which would be Shulk in this case. Apart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Huh. Funny how the legend only pertains to the High Entia and no other. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy... But yeah, one. reasons like this is why I find Melia to be the tritagonist of the story. Because so she has so much importance uh, to the story. Father, I mean, your majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. Brother. His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. 
The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell I'd say you made a really good choice. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I don't know what to... Melia. About the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. Melly, I should visit don't say their that. families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing and engrave in your heart their great deeds. You know, it's um thinking like that that will. turned Anakin into you Darth are right Vader. To question these things, but take pride in who you are. I can't see Melia as a Sith. As a Jedi, I can totally see her being one. You know, I did compare her to Obi Wan once because they both suffered a lot. Yes. Lorathea. I can't get into reasons why I despise this woman, but I guess you'll just find out as we go. I, Minister Lorathea, have no objection to your Like, just look at her outfit. It just screams I bad news. I would never openly question our divine emperor. But the wielder of the Monado, the chosen one, might. You think so too? Yes, but a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the divine seer were to intervene, divine the seer, seer. Could they should be exchanging words as we speak. Also, your outfit appears to be different. I, um, did a spot of shopping. <laughs> Bye, Melly. Bird brains. What do we do? Hey, bird brain is a slur here in Alchemoth, Ryan. Prison is still a prison. Watch yourself. <laughs> what happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk, any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, I agree Shulk. with Shulk. You win. I believe you. If you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. Well, sure. Yes, I know you're a good boy. Okay, so this is a rare uh, instance. Um, you get to play a Shulk alone, but also you get to talk to the party members. Yes. Shulk, you no have to worry. Bird people not bad. Yes. The ones who came to meet Melia were also wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? Yo. What is all this? How can they treat us like this? That Melia chick. You are sure we can really trust her, right? I'm pretty sure chick is also a slur here. Right. I hate him now. <laughs> we have never we have never had any contact with the Hyentia before. Perhaps they are being cautious, just as we would. Yeah, so talking here is pretty much all we could do. You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Oh, Alvis is here. Stop, bitches. I am back. Alvis. What we talked over here? each other. <laughs> We were trying to say <laughs> I see so that is why you are here is Melia okay we didn't mean to cause her any trouble rest assured she is fine 
The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Oh. Leave everything to me. <laughs> not much of an interrogation, I man. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir. I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Thanks, Alvis. Hello. Alvis is cool people, yes. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I oh, I get it now. <laughs> what you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. The life of the rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. But okay. Charlotte, we just got here. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. I agree. I agree, Ricky. Your eminence. Oh, what God want? <laughs> what God want? To Alvis. He's gone. What? Where did he go? What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Eretz Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Oh. Sounds like they need our help. Sure, can Ricky go help? Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. Go, Team Taro! We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Hereupon Ricky is here to save the day. <laughs> it is... Most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. Let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, skill tree. Um, Dunban and Sharla learn... Okay. Let's move Charlotte to Confidence and Dunban to... Let's see. Let's move Dunban to Prudence. Ryan is fine and Shulk is fine. Um, we could do this quest right away, or, um, we can go around and see what's available to us. Um, in fact, I think that's just what we'll do. I can't get over the new visuals of this place. Um... The palace in the original was visually impressive, but it never had, um golden inlays or contrasting colors like this um if anything it was mostly white and blue honestly still pretty but this is prettier and alchemoth itself look at this i would honestly live here <laughs>
What is it? <laughs> you guessed it! We don't have enough materials! <laughs> um... Another reason why I love Xenoblade so much is that it's pretty self-aware without being in your face about it. How's things? How's things? How's things? How's things? How's things? How's things? There's also a shop here for us. So, why don't we see what uh, oh, why, why don't we see what's available? Okay, there's some art books available for us. So, They're all from Melly, because of course. Um. Okay, so Dunban and Sharla both benefit from this the most, so I'm going to give that to them. Uh, Ryan and Shulk get more, more out of the Aerith gear. Pretty much everyone gets stuff out of the uh, Sky Top. Ryan gets more out of that. Oops. Okay. Time to change equipment. <laughs> oh, yeah, remove all gems. Thank you. 
Shulk looks nice. Um, <laughs> Ryan looks silly. Okay, now to give everyone their gems back. Okay, that's good. Um, Ricky could use more ether. He could also use he could also use some muscle up gems. Yeah, this is the boring part, guys. Um, Shrella Electric plus three. <laughs> I just want to make sure everyone's good to go. Um, let's see. Uh, Sharla could use HP up. Because I like outfitting her to be physically defensive, as well as tanky, so she can last long enough. So, how does her ether stack up to Shulk's? Not very high at all. Alright. Um... Um, Dunban has this, and where's the haste gem? There it is. And then pump him full of agility. And ether defense. Actually, wait. 
Um, yeah, either defense. Here we are. And Ryan gets strength. Okay, now we're good to go. All nice and spiffy. Are you the... Are you the... <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna give someone Aerith gear. There's also Skycaps too. Yeah, um... Ryan looks like he can benefit from it the most. So there you go. Um, Skycap. Oh, it gives Zunban an eye patch. Nice. <laughs> Are you that? <laughs> Beware, Dunban, the most feared pirate in the seven Earth seas. And then <laughs> Melia's in the background going like, "Everyone, please stop embarrassing me." Oh, damn it. I forgot to change tops. Uh. Ricky, Sharla. Yeah. I think he has the top one. Uh. Dunban? She has the... Actually, here we go. Not done. <laughs> Not done, Ban. There we go. Okay, you can do that. Okay. No, I'll be fine. I have this. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Oh god, did I did I have his desktop audio off the entire time? Oh, that's so embarrassing.
Ah, that's that's frustrating. Okay. Um. Are you that? That's okay. It's not like anyone's watching this anyway. And sky shoes, god damn it. Ugh, I keep forgetting the tiniest things. <sighs> looks like it benefits. Yeah, it just looks like it benefits Ricky the most. That was a dumbass moment on my part. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Brian was here the entire time. It's just. I. I guess I was so caught up in this game that I didn't realize that desktop audio was off because he left the call once before and I forgot to turn it back on. Are you that Okay. Sell all the old stuff. No, it's fine! <laughs> okay, let's just go around town and uh, see who else has quests for us. Quite a few, actually. Oops. Although we do want to wander around just a little bit because um, there are some landmarks we need to find. Yes. <laughs> Nothing says cool like Orluga slacks. Are you kidding me? Yes. You know, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep desktop audio on just in case. I don't trust myself to keep it off and then remember to turn it on. Because apparently, a cool lemon. I don't know. I think the dad had it all wrong. Maybe nothing, uh, nothing says cool more than, uh, cool lemons. That's what she. That's what you should have gone with, buddy. So these are the Imperial family's the, the beloved star drops. We have collected all five. We should take them to her. random uh, let's go over there first actually
Mystic Dahlia. Oh, the flower segment's already completed. Uh, for that, we get Muscle Up 3. Not bad. You know what? Let's, uh, let's get that to Ricky. And we can get rid of that. Hmm. What should I give in What should I... What should I give him in place of that? Um, uh, strength up two? The Fountain of Hope. And coincidentally, there is a quest right there that we can take. Well. Five star drops. Oh yeah, that was um, that one quest that was um, available to us. And yeah, as you can see, uh, a lot of Alchemoth's quests are timed. Um, again, the time limit is rather generous to these, but um, if you want to go 100% like me, accept every one of them as you possibly can. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll set that as active since we're in the area. So there's one right there, actually. Cool. So we need to collect five of them. Ooh, Heart Peach. The fruit segment is done. Now we just need to find the strange items. Blaze plus three. All right. See. Uh, Valarin. Uh, we'll have to save you for later. Alright, let's get back to the main entrance. Poppy po, poppy poppy po, poppy po. <laughs> no, um. Yes. Say, so, yeah, I'm sure you noticed by now that um, with every new area that we're visiting, uh, not only are the areas getting bigger. There's also, um, uh, tiers of side quests that you can accept, uh, from- Oh! Ha ha ha, what's that? Ricky seemed to enjoy naming this. It's some kind of furry white creature. Okay. Man, a lot of people seem to hang out just next to the es escalators. And... Hey. Alright, I think we found all the generic quests that we can do. And here's one of the other uh, star drops. So we're one short, but uh, that one quest we accepted, um, the item we need to find is within the area. We'll switch to nighttime in a second, but yeah. Hey, we completed one of the quests. Nice. 
Charlotte, hurry up, slow coach. <laughs> um. Let's change the time. Now. Oh, yeah, arts, arts. Uh, Ricky and Dunban learn new things. Oh, Ricky learned tantrum. Uh. Yeah, let's uh, add that to his repertoire. Uh, I tend not to use Freezenate very much, so... Yeah. Dunban, you learned... Oh, Thunder. Um... Thunder's a little weird. Um, you have to make sure Dunban is facing away from the enemy to make it work. Um, but if you land it, it causes daze. Um, I'm gonna invest a little AP into it, but I don't think I'm gonna necessarily make it a mainstay for his moveset. Because I like what he has already. Let's change the time and see what other quests are available to us. Sure enough, there's one already. Can I please... <sighs> wow, jumping is super nerfed in this game. <laughs> like, was it really something that needed to be changed? Are you that... Garland. Uh, we'll get to him momentarily. <sighs> but not now. Oh, uh, Nello. This guy is fun. But, again, we will hold off on that. Um. What is it? You, however, we will accept. <laughs> what? Oh, hi. <laughs> We didn't discover that area yet. I thought we did. That sucks. Let's fix that. And you know what? Let's uh, go to Ricky because this is painful. <laughs> Thank you, Quick Step. Fountain of Eternity. So the Fountain of Hope and the Fountain of Eternity. Are you 
you the... Are you the... Yeah, we still have a lot of quests to accept. Yes. Spin! <laughs> yes. Yes. Ruthen, you're a named NPC. Uh, you're not, though. Yes. Spiral lamps. Wow, Imperial Guard, you're sure wanting us to do your job for you. Yes. Kind of think of it, it's kind of like this all throughout Bionis. You would think these guys would have more initiative, but they don't. <laughs> Check what it's like during the day. That's not how you change the time. Ugh. Yep. Yes. Pretty sure that high end we just talked to uh, pretty much uh, hid the fact that they're uh, making us cover for him. That he's making us cover for him. Elon. Huh. Twin sisters? Me. Huh, okay. So you want us to go back to Magna Forest to fetch you or Luga grass skirts. Whatever you say, lady. Another one. What is it? And another one. And we're gonna have a buttload of quests by the end of this. 
Not that I mind. Almost done accepting quests. Our next search quest is done. There's a one there's another one right there we have yet to discover, so let's change that. Okay. <laughs> Let me change the time one more time, just to be sure. these are just named NPCs. So, yeah, I think I think we're done getting the generic quests um, out of the way. Alright, that quest is done. But yeah, we have a lot of quests in our hands. Um... So, again, all these we can uh, do while we're on the way, so... No rush, necessarily. Um... Although we will track one of them. I wonder how much closer I am to finishing... Oh! Speak of the devil and it shall appear. Alright. With the Thunder Atmos, we have finished the Alchemoth Collectopedia. And as a reward, we get the Gust Shot. How does it compare to the gun Charlotte has now? 
more slots and more auto attack. Um, yeah, you know what? I want to give it to her. <sighs> hmm. What should I give you? How about muscle up and... There we go. Alright, I think to start things off with the named NPCs, I want to start with this man named Scarlin. Are you that. Ah, uh, what on Bionis have I done? I know they will never forgive me for this. What is it? You're looking down in the dumps. Hereupon will solve all problems! Hey, would you be willing to listen to me? Thank you kindly. You see, something strange is happening to me recently. Whenever I see these two friends of mine, my chest begins to ache. I think I must somehow f I think I must have somehow fallen for both of them. Uh quick answer for you, polyamory fixes all problems. <laughs> that is if uh all the parties are willing. Uh but I don't think that's an option in Xenoblade world, unfortunately, so. Hang on, I want to check something real fast before I continue on. Hang on, almost done.
do, 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 do. Okay, I think I know what to do. I think I must have somehow fallen for both of them. Falling for two people at once. Whatever is the matter with me? As a bloke, I think I know where you're coming from. When you get on with someone too well, things start changing. The same thing happened to you? But unlike me, you look like you can decide your own fate. I wish I could be like you. I just try to be honest. But sometimes you just can't manage by yourself. So rely on us. We'll do all we can to try and help you. Well, even if I like them, I have no idea what they think of me. So, could you please help me? You would really try to help me? Well, I don't know what to say. Thank you. No sweat. We'll be done before you know it. Aw, oh, no affinity. Shit. Um... Try this. So they hang out around the fountain of fountain of eternity. Kof and Rosiel. Let's uh, talk to them, shall we? How's things? You want to know what I think of Scarlin? Some people say bad things about him, but they've got it all wrong. He's really a good man. He's actually been manipulated by quite a few women in the past, so I hope he realizes how we feel for him soon. And then we talk to Rosiel. Hey. What do I think about Scarlin? Why do I have to tell that to you? Why do I have to tell that to you? Scarlin asked you to find out? Why didn't he come and ask me himself? At any rate, I certainly don't dislike him. In fact... No. No, this is something I ought to tell him myself, in person. Well, alright. Uh, we got our answers, I suppose. You that? Well, it sounds as though they do not dislike me, at least. That alone is a tremendous relief for me to hear. I'm glad I asked for your help. Vicky, really happy! Me too! You are me- <coughs> <coughs> Zing, Ricky! <laughs> uh, amazing! That makes Ricky even more happy! If I had just worried about it on my own- If I had just worried about it on my own, it would not have ended well. I owe you my gratitude. Thank you. Here, take this. It is a token of my appreciation. Alright. Are you that? Ah, it's you again. Take a guess at what happened after you helped me out. I'm here to listen. Yeah, I'm a good listener and all. Only when it involves food. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what happened. Both of the girls approached me, and they both confessed that they have affections for me as well. So now I had to decide between them. What a conundrum. How can they expect me to make a decision just like that? But at the same time, I can understand how your friends must feel. I can see how it must be easier to pretend that nothing's wrong. But well, you can't stay that way forever. That would solve nothing. You're right, of course. But even though it's all my fault, I still can't seem to decide. 
it's not that they're angry at you. In fact, they're trying their best to keep your friendship alive. The question is, how will you respond to that? Even I can see that things cannot go on like this. In fact, I'm the most terrified of ruining what we already have. So once again, could I please ask for your help? Okay, so this quest is interesting. Um, whichever person you talk to first locks you into the other uh, route. So what I'm going to do is uh, talk to Rosiel first, then Rikoth. I believe that is the happiest route. But just in case, I will save before this. I am so sorry about this. I know that this is a problem I should deal with by myself, but just this once, I truly need your help. You can count on us. We'll get it done. Wow! Sharla is here upon just like Ricky! It's an honor, Ricky, but we'll need your help too, oh mighty here upon. <laughs> um, okay. So we'll overwrite the save and then make our way back to the two girls. Back. I've been doing nothing but sitting all day. I, I mean, I've been doing nothing but sitting all week. No. I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, here they are. Um, okay. Uh, let's speak to Rosiel first. Hey. This time it's my favorite memory he wants to know about? Well... It's probably the promise we made when we were young. It wasn't just between me and him, but it is my most precious memory. For the three of us to be friends forever. Oh, now look what you've done. I'm getting all embarrassed. At any rate, I doubt he'll even remember that promise anymore. Then let's talk to Rakoth. Past things. You'd like to know my favorite memory with Scarlin? Probably the time Rosiel introduced me to him. After all... To have memories, I, ha I have to have met him in the first place. But what does this have to do with anything? I know that Scarlet must have asked you to do it, but... Well, I suppose there's not much point asking that now. Okay. Back to Scarling we go. I see. Then my answer is decided. Rosiel thinks the same way I do, so my heart lies with her. To tell the truth, I think I may have known all along. I've always cared for Rosiel more than for Rikoth, but as I told you before, I was afraid of ruining our friendship. I think that must be why I was running away from my feelings. That cowardice may have ended up causing pain for them both. I never want to make them go through anything like that again. I don't want to make them sad. Good. It was our pleasure. Friends did it! We the bestest! <laughs> Classy, Ricky. Classy. Thanks to you, I have been able to realize how I truly feel. I cannot be grateful enough for what you've done for me. This is a token of my gratitude. Please, take it. All right. And he still has one more quest for us. Are you that? What should I do? Suddenly, I have no idea what I ought to say. This is a real problem. You're troubled. Is something worrying you? Uh, it's you again. Listen, I'm thinking of giving a letter to Rosiel, but now I now I come to write it, I have no idea what to say. It's getting me down. I just don't know what I should write at this stage. I've been thinking about it ever since I realized how I felt, but. So, just write how, write how you feel right now. Don't try and sugarcoat it. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. You could be right there. I wasn't going to go over the top, but maybe I am overthinking this. Just, just write how I feel. Yes. That's the spirit. She'll definitely appreciate it. Well, I know I would. I suppose I'll just write my own feelings. Yes, I've decided. I'll tell Rosiel exactly why I fell for her. Finished! 
Oh, did you just write it on the spot then? Right, may I ask you to deliver this to Rosio, please? Okay. I think this is the final request I will ask of you. I only got this far thanks to you. So, I'm counting on you to do this. You can count on us, we'll get it done. That's right, leave it to us! This is the letter. Thanks for doing this. So, a little bit of back and forth going on, but, um, I really do appreciate this quest. Um, not only is it very sweet, but you also get to decide the fate of, um, these three individuals' friendship, uh, from this point on. Because both of the women, uh, Rikoth and Rosiel, love Scarlin, but, depending on your choices, their friendship could either be as strong as ever, which this route entails... Or it could be strained. Hey. <laughs> Rhyme. Now you've got a letter from Scarlin? Whatever could be inside? What the? Did Scarlin tell you that what he's written in here? He didn't tell you and you haven't read it? Well, I'm glad about this. Of course I am. It's just... I know I told him to choose between us, but I didn't mean for this to happen. No, I shouldn't say that. Scarlin's made his decision. I had to respect his feelings. But what am I supposed to say to Rikoth? He was so serious about this as well. If he couldn't decide, I was going to ask him to choose Rikoth. But no, I just have to go and find Scarlin. We can tell Rikoth together. And we'll stay friends. The three of us, always. No idea that Rosio was so worried about this. And I call myself her friend. I truly am the worst of the worst. No, come on, man. I brought sadness upon both of them. Still, there is at least one good thing to come out of all this. I feel sure now that Rosio will not ignore Rikoth or hurt her feelings. With any luck, they will still be able to remain good friends. Despite all that has happened, I hope we can all remain friends. I know it is a selfish I know it is a selfish thing to say, but I still wish for it. Good, it was our pleasure. Still, you people are the real heroes of this piece. I don't know what I would have done without all of your help. So please, take this. A token of gratitude from all three of us. I cannot say what will happen now, but I know that I will be happy as long as we we can all be together. I will try my very hardest to make that happen. We all will. All right. That chain is done. Um, let me think. Uh You know what? Why don't we tackle another uh side quest? Um only this time, let's have Dunban in the party. And why don't we talk to that Napon? <laughs> Burp. Oh, wait, uh, where are they? There they are. <laughs> Oops. Ah, yeah. uh, friends want Nano! Nano is being depressed! Come back later! Hmm? You seem troubled. That's what I said, you idiot! Sad people make Riki sad! Riki and Hirohal make them happy! 
quite right, Ricky. So let's do something about it. Now I get drunk very quick. But Nello loves drinking. So always get drunk and make big problem for buddies. But Nello hears something good. There is medicine that makes you want to drink less. You need friends to find ingredients so Nello can make it. Alcohol. I too used to have a taste for it. But I gave it up when my sister told me it was bad for me. I'd say this is a good time for you to consider quitting as well. Nello knows that, but Nello really enjoyed partying with buddies. Okay, so we need to collect two lots of ferrous blood and five ha pagul hot pots. Whatever that is. Ooh, friends very kind. Nello went here with little tipple. Not a problem, consider it done. Okay, we got the ferrous blood, so all we need to collect now is the Pagul Hot Pots. Um, let's travel to the main entrance, and then... Uh, I believe once we teleport out of here, it will give us a skip travel point to, to go on. Um... Let's make this our main quest for now. Dilemma Rock. <laughs> that's that's an interesting name. But it is a piece of nature, so let's add that. Oh, sorry, Dunban. Um Oh, teleporter. Um, okay, so that's a skip travel point that we just found, that we just stumbled on, rather. Um, I'm, I'm mainly just going through these just to see um, where the teleporter is. Because it's been a while since I've been to Aerithsea, believe it or not. Um, yeah. I have an approximate knowledge of many things. Oh, so there's these, uh, hoads that we've been tasked to kill, so why don't we, uh, do just that. Okay, Charlotte, if you could fire it out of the sky, please. Uh, Charla? There you go. Man, I underestimated how good Lurgy is. Like, that combined with, uh, bleed damage? That's amazing. That's one Chlorolia down. Okay, 
one more. Or, actually, several hoods. Necessary? I don't I don't think so. Let's keep on going like this, guys. Let's press on. Wait, hang on. Let's keep it at night. Oh, it counted. Okay. Um. Turbulent Belmo. <laughs> um. No, I don't believe this is the right teleporter. So let's go back. Teleporter will bring us to air uh, to Alchemoth, rather. Uh, so let's go to this one. Let's go through this teleporter and see what that gets us. Ricky even Damn, Ricky. Um, okay, no one learned any arts while I was doing this. And white tail. And wait, white tail? White? Oh, gold burdock. Unfortunately, I'll have to give both of these up. I can find more, I'm sure. Mithril leggings. Nice. Oh, Charlotte. Ugh. Um. Uh. Let's give it to Ryan. He's gonna lose his strength, unfortunately. Suffice it to say, he still seems pretty, uh, pretty strong. And his color scheme still seems pretty united, so there's that at least. Charlotte, if you could take that, thank you. Alright. That 
quest is done. I believe this will net us. Yep, that is a landmark. But we'll uh, come back to those people later. But uh, no real sign of. Uh... Okay, Charlotte learned Ether Assault. Lovely. Uh, no real sign of those monsters that we're supposed to find. Um. Oh, the Latiel Shore. Duh. <laughs> I was way overthinking that. I think at this point I am the master of wasting people's time. <laughs> Steel Hain? How are you supposed to pronounce that? Ether up three. Nice. Ah, good. Nice. You know what? Sure. Okay. Tantrum. Hot pot. Uh, there's something over there too. Yep, another pagul. Which means by process of elimination, another one's over there. Man, hey, what are you doing? Okay, let's get going. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Uh, give me another 20 minutes, guys, because I think we're ready to go on another break. Um, so, by the time I come back, we'll uh, keep doing side quests in Aerith Sea, and um, hopefully we'll also get some story stuff out of the way. So, be right back. <laughs> 